Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh. This is unlike anything I've ever f***ing heard before, this album. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this album. It's, it's beautiful. Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucin. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer, person, and today I'm going to be reacting to Desire, I Want to Turn Into You by Caroline Polachek, the brand new album. So let's go. Yes. Hi. Hello, people. Hello there, lovely people. This album came out on Valentine's Day, didn't it? Didn't it? On a Tuesday. Like, I have to do my part-time job on a Tuesday, so I obviously couldn't record it then. And I was very busy Valentine's Day evening. <laughs> the only song I've heard so far is Blood and Butter, which I did for my little roundup catch-up video, um, which I f***ing loved. I loved it. Last year, Pang, Pang was one of my voted reactions. Yes, and I loved that. Very enjoyable. I didn't, like, love it on repeated listens, though. You know, I kind of fell off it quite quick. But from what I've heard of just Blood and Butter being the only song I've heard, I think I'm going to really enjoy this even more. And I kind of hope the whole album is lovey-dovey because I'm definitely very much in that place right now. Anyway, <laughs> if you're new to the channel and you really enjoy reactions that really dig into the lyrics, that really get into, like, the meaning behind the artistry of the artist, then this channel's for you and you should subscribe. There you go. If you are a regular viewer of the channel, then you can actually watch this video and all of my big videos unedited over on Patreon. So that's with absolutely no cuts. You can hear the full length of each song. Obviously, I have to cut these videos down for YouTube because otherwise they get blocked and demonetized. So Patreon is the place for you to A, support me directly, and B, actually get to watch the full versions of these reactions. Um, the link's in the description. Okay, let's get on to this video. I'm really excited to hear this album. I've had so many of you asking when the reaction's coming. Now, the answer's now. <laughs> Let's go, this, this is the first song. This is Welcome to My Island. Okay, we've got Caroline's signature vocals. Nice. Oh, I love it. It sounds quite optimistic. It has a bit of that kind of 80s power ballad energy in the chords, you know? Welcome Ooh. to my island. Cool. I think I'm going to love the synth work on this album. You ain't leaving. <laughs> It's like she's kind of like welcoming us to the album. Nice. Oh, so it's like the title track, this. Beautiful melody. Her voice is so fascinating to listen to, isn't it? Love it. Oh, so gorgeous. The melody is wonderful. Oh, yeah. It sounds like a kind of wild open vocal, you know, melody, like she's singing out into the forest of this like deserted island, you know. To my island. I love that kind of... I wonder what that means. I want to turn into desire. Maybe it's about dreaming of love. I love the kind of shifting nature of the rhythm of it as well. Just watch your ego, watch your head grow. Now the water's turning red and it's all you Okay, so it's like the island is like an oasis. Wow, okay, so there seems to be her letting go of her old life as she's found success. Oh, this chorus is so satisfying. <laughs> Love the imagery. Love it. Really beautiful. Of insane melodies. Her voice in this kind of like weird, sounds like auto-tune, but she's actually just trained to sing that way kind of thing is so fascinating to listen to every single time. And it means that every single song that she sings, it has like a kind of otherworldly, ethereal kind of energy to it. And what she's done is taken that energy and made it feel like it's like an island paradise you know like some kind of like island paradise that's been dropped down from the heavens and she's she's like welcome to this place it's an oasis for me to be able to feel free and to purely just become the feeling of desire and the feeling of wanting it's very like fascinating to listen to and i feel like i'm being invited into her world you know and i think like with the island almost like representing i think this album and the music which is like a safe space for her i love that the kind of acapella singing section 
feels very wild. It feels like very like like a kind of Tarzan thing, doesn't it? It feels like Tarzan, you know, oh, that thing. It's very much that you know and so it really takes us to that kind of wild place especially with this idea of it being an island i'm so excited for this yeah oh let's check the lyrics okay um okay welcome to my island see the palm trees wave in the breeze welcome to my island hope you like me you ain't living there's some some kind of darkness there right desire i want to turn into you float on the ocean blue beautiful holiday like imagery which is gorgeous it's very warming but there is an element of darkness in there as well i think like an undercut i am my father father's daughter in the end he says what's your ego what's your head girl you're so smart and so talented but now the water's turning red and it's all your fault and it's all your mess okay so there's some way in which she's maybe progressing her career maybe like grown up maybe turned her father against her and she's kind of almost like like making the same mistakes as he is i'm not sure what that is because the water's turning red like there's blood in the water you know so it's real escapism that is really like the word of this song isn't it just you and your reflection because nothing's going to be the same again so it's like an internal place of escapism where she can reflect on herself and i think that really is like what the music is representing for her beautiful okay song number two this is pretty impossible like pretty impossible like it's impossible, but it, there's prettiness in the possible. I'm obsessed with this beat. Ah, oh, her melodies are insane. I love the drums. They have a real weight to them. A kind of shifty, like, gated thing. Gorgeous. Drink the tears until they dry. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this! This is so good. Oh, just I, I love the movement created with that kind of shifting drum beat and the gated bass. Like, mm, 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 mm. gives it like a real like this. Mm. I love the string arrangement there. Unexpected, but really nice. Gorge. Cheddar Gorge. Yeah, fierce. The drum production, drum and bass production, drum and bass lol. The drum and the bass production in that was just sending me. Like, it's really tight. And it feels like potentially that could be part of the signature sound going forward because that was in Blood and Butter and Welcome to My Island as well. And it's all kind of like shifting, insistent. You know, it's like a, like a kind of pushing heartbeat that has like a real insistence and a real drive to it that's like you feel like it's coming from her at the edge of her like passion for the project it's almost like a desperation you know like the drums are really kind of giving me that sense of like pushing you know it's the desperation it's not relaxed is it it's like pushing forward i think that's what she's trying to convey is that actually within this island paradise there is something that is really making her feel like she has to push and push and push and push you know let's look at the lyrics for pretty impossible time's running out in it <laughs> in it though um pity the mayflies in the swimming pool at dawn but down in the deep end, I can't be left alone. Sweet Eliza's on the court. Potential is the drug. They never knew you were, You never tried. But you see it in my eyes. And that is Bay, The threading needle. Pretty impossible. If only to get me out the door. Hmm. Interesting. So time's running out. Yeah, that's a sense of in insistence, right? Pity the mayflies. Like, mayflies have a short life. They die really quickly. Potential is the drug. I feel like maybe it's her, like you know, need for success, this kind of pushing feel of like, I have potential, I can make something of this that is like intoxicating, but 
stress inducing as well you know you know something that I feel as well like as somebody in my early 30s now there's a sense of like life is short you know there's you like that kind of feeling is there right and you feel like you have to do something with it you know there's something you have to make of it and this is the pressure that she seems to be feeling pretty impossible there's a prettiness in the possibility of her success but At the same time, that sounds like pretty impossible. Like it's maybe actually completely impossible for her to actually ever fully realise what she has in her head in terms of her success in her career. I think that's what it's about. I think that's that's the double entendre. Very cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is Bunny as a Rider. Yeah, more really, really, really tight gated drum production. Ooh, I'm obsessed with the drums in this. Oh. Bunny is a rider. It's gonna dance. <laughs> that weird, creepy laugh is upsetting me a little bit. Funny. <laughs> she doesn't let you sit in that rhythm too long, does she? I'm obsessed with this sense of like push and pull. Oh. And then she blows it into a lush direction. Sick. I love that this drum bit is like three bars of this and then one bar of uh, 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 that's sick. And then she f***s with it again. This is sick. This is so cool. Let's give me a little bit of Prince, the snappy push and pull feel of it. This is, I'm obsessed with this. I love how she's dangling that full kick drum thing. This, like, oh, this is like so just, ah, uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is sick. Uh. Oh, it's just, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with all of the production here. It's incredible. Amazing. Oh, obsessed with that. I just, oh God, the, just the movement of that song was so, so, so like perfectly positioned and it just teased you the whole way through. I feel like a lesser producer would have just put that kick drum on a boom, 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 boom the whole way through, but she trusted all the other instruments to kind of suggest that feeling, but only put in, in that satisfying kick drum at the end of each four bar repeat, which just, pushes you into the next section but it just teases you because every time it comes in you're like oh and there's like oh it's gone again is it gonna come back i don't know it's just really like pulls you along like it's so 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 clever yeah oh the drum production is just insane i like i know i'm such a nerd for this but like i just can't get over like how well produced the drums are and how like the way that the the the, the drums and every percussion sound is super 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 gated that which means that it cuts off the trail of of each of the sounds so it kind of so it kind of goes uh, uh, rather than going uh, uh. <laughs> it gives it like a kind of like staggering like kind of visceral kind of movement in your body to listen to she's utilizing that feeling so it's with such pinpoint precision. It's really fascinating. She you can tell that she's like like a really intellectual producer in the way that she's like moving like every single sound. So it's perfectly positioned. It's really insane stuff. I love it. Let's look at the lyrics. I have a feeling I won't have any clue what this one's about <laughs> because Bunny is a rider. Who knows? Bunny is a rider. Satellite can't find her. No sympathy. Hmm. Ain't got nothing for free. I don't know. What does it mean by like a rider? Maybe it's like a girl, a friend, a female. <laughs> she hasn't got any sympathy for them though. She's lost. This person's lost, but she doesn't really care. But I'm so non-physical. I do, I do feel like a lady. Fireworks blazing. Heart is unbreaking. But I don't drop my name. Bunny is a rider. There's some kind of sense of maybe her like relishing the feeling of being unknown. Yeah, because there's being able on a Thursday, can I go as Alice trying to catch that rabbit? That's cool. But I'm so non-physical. So there's a sense of like maybe she is relishing in being unknown. There's a similar kind of through line of interpretation where in the first song she seems to be avoiding people by going into this inside oasis, welcome to my island, you know. Well, maybe not avoiding people, but like still like 
being unknown, welcoming in her fans into her own, but only those chosen people, you know, there's a sense of that. And here, again, she's like relishing the idea of being unknown, of being AWOL, of being in costume, of escaping, of being, you know, can't be found on a satellite, you know. Maybe being a rider means like, you know, she's on her bike, like whipping around and she'll never be tracked down, she'll never be put down in one place, you know. There's a real, a feeling of escape. I think escape is really a big key phrase for her in this album. Let's go on to the next song. This is Sunset. Oh, love it. We're going to Latin America or Spain. Oh, okay. Nylon guitars, but it's very choppy and very compressed, isn't it? I love that she kind of exists within this really electronic place, you know, even when she's doing using real instruments. So cool. Mm, romantic song. Nice. stories we were told about a safety net. Maybe she's been listening to uh, a bit of Rosalia. <laughs> and it's alright because it hides the dirt and hides the wine. Red, fiery red, forever fearless and on the horizon. Nice. Let's ride away. Mm. Let's ride away into the sunset, yeah. Oh. Her vocals, man. She's really an artist who has everything, but chooses to do something different, you know? Beautiful. This album is really pulling together a lot of things that I love in terms of, like, music in general. Gorgeous. Love it. Fascinating. I love how she's taken something that's very, very recognisable in terms of like that Spanish sound is very key there in the way that the, the, the guitar is played. The style of the guitar, you know, being a nylon string guitar. But I think it's a midi nylon string guitar. At least the main da 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 because it sounds almost like robotic. Every single stroke of that nylon guitar is of equal dynamic and I think that's a very 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 key thing that she seems to do in all of this album so far at least is like almost bring in a sense of magic and alien to even something that sounds very 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 human and very recognizable she puts the Caroline Polacek twist on it and makes it sound robot you know, makes it sound alien, makes it sound like a mystical, magical world. And that's how it fits in with all the other sounds on the album, despite the fact that it is like a Spanish song, <laughs> you know? Yes! Ah, uh, oh, it's fucking sick. It's sick. It's really sick. I'm obsessed. And I, this one seems to be like a romance, right? Let's look at the lyrics. These days I wear my body like an uninvited guest. Sneaky. I turn it right and right and right instead of turning left. Always taking the wrong, making the wrong choice. I'm getting there in the end, I guess, right? But boy, your patience is a magic kind of medicine. She's in love because every spiral brings me back into your arms again. So every single like mental spiral, she's still, he's there. He's there, patient for her. I love how that's put, yeah. So no regrets because you're my sunset. Fiery red, forever fearless and in your arms a warm horizon. Don't look back, let's ride away. <gasps> I love, I love the romance in this. It's like a proper, like, old movie romance, riding off into the sunset on the back of a horse. Da -da -da -da. You know, <laughs> I love it. It's fierce. It's so good. Gorgeous, yeah. So many stories were told about a safety net. Oh, that was like, wait, wait. Was it Blood and Butter that I mentioned the safety net? Was it Pang that mentioned the safety net? There was a song, wasn't there, about her, like, jumping out of a plane or something, wasn't there? I can't remember. Let me know. Yeah, so that's that's a key Im imagery for her, right? But when I look for it, it's just a hand that's holding mine. Uh, I'm wearing black to mourn the sudden loss of innocence. And that's all right because it hides the dirt and hides the wine. So she's like, maybe got into a relationship. Oh shit, this is like, mm, what I'm doing. And she's like mourning almost like the loss of like who she was as a child like who she was before she got into this relationship because things are changing. But actually it's good because the black is hiding the dirt. So hiding the mess of the past and hiding the wine spilled, you know, like the drunken wine, the misadventures of your 20s, you know. So no regrets because you're my sunset. Oh my fucking God, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go on to the next song. This is Crude Drawing of an Angel. Okay. Tempo slightly more down. Draw the plan. Draw the bed, draw your brow with shaky head, hold on. Wow, okay. Oh. Red light, no one. Camera two. Oh, gorgeous. 
gorgeous. I adore how she uses a mixture of ambient, long legato stuff and super dry stuff. It's really, oh god, it's so inspiring. Those whistles almost sound like we're in a jungle or something. Really seems to be like a like a through line there. I love that like that voice. It's really like yeah, satisfying crunch that comes through the legato thing, you know. Whoa. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm obsessed. Uh, I love how she holds back the power there. Oh. Amazing. Gorgeous. I, yeah, I love that. That was a really kind of unique sound. I mean, I've like, said that about every single fucking song. It's just insane. It's beautiful. Um, and yeah, her mixture of the ambient, you know, the big reverby legato moments with super tight choppy drums and also vocals that are kind of crunchy and dry. You know, like there's a real kind of dichotomy. She really plays with the textures and the sound in a way that like really frames every single thing that's going on. It's so exciting to hear. I Honestly, I just love it. Draw the blinds. Draw the bath, it's a matter of time till you wake up and watch me draw your brow with shaky hand so that after you're gone, I've got something to hold on to. So she's writing, so she's making, she's drawing pff, a crude, a crude drawing of an angel, right? The angel being this person that she's in love with. Red light, oh my faults, camera one, camera two, oh my greed, on your side, on the carpet, oh your need, camera one, camera two. There's like a feeling that she's being watched, maybe? Angel. I hold you down, forsake me here on the ground. Ah! Oh, all or nothing, draw your blood, draw your breath. Skip the whites of your eyes till you wake up and watch me. Draw your wings from your back and I'll not be shy and I'll not be gentle with you. Wow. So it's sex, in it? There's a sense of like her wanting to distill this passionate moment in some, in, in a drawing, in a, in, a, in a song, in a, you know, she wants to retain the memory of this thing just in case it goes. I think there's like a feeling of like she's found something and she's deeply insecure about its safety. You know, she's really concerned that it's all just gonna go to shit, you know? The idea of it being a crude drawing is like she can never actually draw something that like measures up to this person. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is I Believe. Look over the edge, but not too far. Hello? Mmm. Love that. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Okay, so we've got garagey drums going on underneath. Ooh. Ah, oh, I love those hits. It's orchestral hits. Love it. It's like orchestral hits mixed with like a cheer. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. It is very garage, isn't it? In the pouring rain. It's that vibe. <laughs> yeah, the orchestral hits are reminiscent of that time as well, you know, Britney vibes. So another example of her taking you to a place, you know, in a similar way to uh, the Spanish song. But this time it's taking us to the noughties. Ah. <laughs> this is beautiful. That pulse going through, it's almost like a life monitor, isn't it? Ugh. I don't know, but I believe. Ugh. Because she just knows, doesn't she? Ugh. Ugh, I'm knocking my headphones off. <laughs> oh. Was that a key change? No, I think it was just a mode mixture. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, but I oh. Oh. I'm hearing elements of Marina, actually, in, her, in the way her voice works, too. 
I love it. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this album. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ, this album is so good. That song, like, oh my god, we get it taken to a different place. But again, as I said, she manages to pull it all through. She manages to make everything sound like it's in the same world. And her world is beautiful. Her island, <laughs> her world of sound is so fascinating. It's so amazing to hear. I just think it's so beautiful. It's so kind of this electronic dreamscape, but has like such... Oh my god, it just feels ethereal, doesn't it? The way that she produces these songs, the way that she sings over the top. Oh my god, it's just everything. And I feel like as much as like Pang, I got hints of this feeling. I really was like, oh, there's something here, you know. This album just seems to be pulling it all together in a way that's just so, so intelligently done. And it feels like it has such a strong vision. I'm only halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> this song was just beautiful and we got taken to Garage, we got taken to Britney. It's just, it was like her homage to that era, you know, um, 2002, you know, that vibe. You're not alone under a sky of vultures with all that could have been, you made it home with silver string unbroken. Ain't that the sweetest gift, oh little miracle. Swing low where there can be no com compromises. Down low, I don't know, but I believe we'll get another day together violent love feel my embrace oh no i don't know but i believe so looking forward there's optimism there isn't there you know i don't know but i believe i th i think that we're going to be together you're not alone we're together like either even though the sky is full of vultures we have one another um <laughs> oh it's so wonderful and she's like i don't know what the future's going to hold but i believe that it's going to be beautiful and i believe that we have this Feel my embrace, look over the edge, but not too far. Like, stay close to me. <gasps> She's so in love and I love it. Oh, she has turned into desire. <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. Okay. Next song, Fly to You, Feet Grimes and Dido. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> I love Dido. <laughs> it's very much my era. <laughs> okay, let's go. Again, more like electronic MIDI sounds filling up my beautiful heart. <laughs> oh, okay, we've jumped forward a few years in terms of uh, more like drum and bassy. This will be Grimes, obviously. It's not Dido, is it? <laughs> Oh my god, the guitar! F me! Oh, this is beautiful. This is unlike anything I've ever f***ing heard before. This album, oh my god, it's stunning. Traveling through the dark Dido! For something that nobody else can see What's gone before, now loaded with So nice to hear her voice again. Her voice really juxtaposes the drum and bassy kind of frantic drums in the background with this like legato beautiful vocal. It's just like really stunning. Oh. Is that church bells? Yeah. On oh, that guitar. It has a feeling of Dido's music in there. It's the guitar, isn't it? It sounds like a marriage of all three of them. Not just with their vocals, but with the sound, you know. I don't. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Amazing. I adore how that sound, the sound of that song is like a marriage of all three of those artists. You have Grimes with the kind of, you know, the drum and bass inspired kind of squelchy, high tempo, frantic feeling with her like really interesting voice in there that really kind of has that, it's that kind of demented baby style. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a weird thing to say. And that's kind of represented by the drums, right? And then you have Dido's voice, who is much more like Naughty's sound. You know, uh, people like uh, Joss Stone, people like... There was like an era of, of female singer-songwriters who had... There was like a real 
like trend of this kind of smooth open-ended like with beautiful husky kind of voice type things going on in that era Dido was really at the centre of it that I feel like was represented in the ambient side of it and in the acoustic guitar which was very very key and coming on later on and really cutting through that and then of course you have Caroline's amazing voice in the middle but and also who else would come up with this collaboration she's the one who pulls it all together you know it's like oh it's amazing i'm obsessed what a way to do a collaboration to really really bring in the sonic like the sonic uh branding of each of those artists not just their voice but the, the what they bring as artists and smush it all together into something that is so totally new you know oh my god okay <laughs> let's have a little look at the lyrics how I remember, how I forget, wanted to hate you but love you instead. Violence made me gentle at last, closer and closer and closer to you, baby. I'm dying to find you. Oh, I fly to you. This seems like it's like looking for perfection in love. Maybe actually, maybe understanding that there is no perfection in love. They're hunting for something, you know. Um, after all the tears, you're all I need. I fly to you. Yeah, so... Yeah, not just somewhere deep inside of me, di driving through the dark. Lost, but I'm free. I'm looking for something that nobody else can see. Will you still love me after the bend? Ah, oh, ah, uh -huh. Remembering what's gone before, not loaded with, with regret. Yeah, oh my God. It's like looking forward into their relationship and thinking, will we make it past? I hope, I think that we can make it past any arguments, any bends in the road. I think that we can return to one another. It's almost like, it's like a statement of like intent, you know, I'm deciding that I'm not going to regret these things. I'm going to embrace the kind of dark sides of things and just fly towards you. I'm going to focus on you. And that's all that matters we're not going to harbor those regrets we're not gonna we're just going to accept what they are and accept them that actually all of these things are coming together in order to have us together oh my god i love it it's beautiful i'm obsessed okay i need a little break <laughs> okay right let's go on to the back half of this album the next song is blood and butter which i have heard if you want to see my initial reaction to blood and butter it's in my february catch-up video i listened to this and a bunch of other songs that i put out on February the 14th. <laughs> Let's listen to it again in context of the album because I feel like the context of the album is key now, you know. Ding. Oh, the church bells. Romance. Look at you and diamond bows. I know the mode, the mode is lethal. And the sound of this song really fits with the kind of our welcome to my island, the jungly kind of mystical world that we find ourselves in. I'm just obsessed with every single little sound in this song, in this album. <laughs> every time I listen to it, I think it's going to go into it there. <laughs> the guitar. Oh. <sighs> this gives me such uh, Our City energy. It really does feel like she's existing within like a place that is like inspired by the early noughties music, you know, thinking Our City, thinking some of the other songs we've heard, Dido obviously, but is existing also in somewhere totally new. Yeah. It's like a dreamlike version of that time, in a sense. Closer than your new tattoo. Oh yeah, the bagpipes. I forgot about the bagpipes. <laughs> I just love the love in this song. You know, it's beautiful. God, that song is so beautiful. And it feels like a dream world. Maybe, like, the reason that she keeps on touching upon these kind of, uh, these naughty themes is that because the album is her escape, it is her dream world, and there's a certain nostalgia and comfort in that nostalgia in that era of music, and that's why it feels like, as much as it is a dream world, there's a kind of tether to that era of music, you know? It's all part of her own nostalgia and her own comfort creating a comfort space within her dreamland you know i just love how romantic that song is and the romance is in the sound of it 
you know, not just in the lyrics, but in the sound. And it's so wonderful. Um, if you want to see my full lyric analysis, I did the full lyric thing in that other video. So I'll link it for you. Cool. Okay. Next song, Hope Drunk Ever Asking. Starlight in a tunnel. A little bit more. Hope drunk ever asking. It's kind of a sadness, maybe. Your final really lost in this one I think it's like a little break isn't it you know pull close to me and never be alone oh It's almost like a transitional thing, isn't it, here? Like the sound is very... I don't, yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting one. Certainly wasn't what I was expecting, given the rest of the album, but maybe there's a point to it. I've, maybe we'll see on the next song that it, it's more of a transition. It seems a bit more, like, uncertain, doesn't it? Whereas the previous song seems like exuberant love, you know? This one seems much more uncertain, which is, yeah, interesting. Um, let's look at the lyrics. Starlight in the tunnel, kind of... Oh, it does feel like a tunnel, doesn't it? Um, kind of familiar, hope drunk ever asking. How does it feel to know your final form? So old, so new. Pull close to me and never be alone. Real life is a rumour under the theatre. Deeper, dig it deeper, till the meanwhile slows. They'll find our bones, and yet they won't. Pull close to me and never be alone. Dawn is just a headspace, night is a feeling. Hope drunk ever asking, centuries come and go. They'll find our bones, and yet they won't. How does it feel to know your final form? Mm. Maybe there's like her dabbling with this idea of commitment now, you know, and thinking like, is our, almost like our bones will be together. They'll find our bones, they'll find like what's left of us and yet they won't remember exact, they won't, they won't know whose bones they are. You know, they won't know who we were. We won't necessarily leave any kind of mark as to what we shared together. You know, maybe a transition from her being in, flirting with the idea of being in a relationship to actually committing and, and that act, that moment kind of inspiring this thing where she's looking forward, you know. Yeah, interesting, huh? Okay, let's go to the next one. This is Butterfly Net. Cool. Love that chord. When silent, long and fell asleep. Guitar's back. There's like some weird sample going on. It's like a binaural thing, it sounds like. It's like there's something going on outside of the song. Beautiful. This is wonderful. There's a real sense of hope in here as well, I think. And I love the use of the, like, the acoustic guitar. Gives it a real tactile feeling, doesn't it? And the shakers too. Not what I was expecting. Strange. There you are. There you are. Oh. There are it's like she's caught something that's rare, you know, using the butter butterfly net, something that's like could be gone, you know. I love the metallic sounds. Yeah. Oh my god, gorgeous. That one, I really got kind of got lost in the space of it all. I think it was very much like more of that love, but there's a there was a it was it wasn't complete love though, was it? It was there's a bit more of a a feeling of like slightly like fear maybe. 
I'm not sure. Gorgeous. Let's look at the lyrics. I love like it kind of was almost like a acoustic song, you know, in a way, for some of it. But like, obviously, like this is Carolyn Belichick. She can't just do that. You know, there's got to be more, you know. Um, okay. Earth went silent, London fell asleep. Oh. She dreamed of winter where you appeared to me. Perfect timing as new petals in November. A tender creature, a fever, disarming fluorescent. There you were with your mirror, shining the world all over me. There I was with my butterfly net trying to catch your light. I collected stupid ashes so that after you gone, I could hold on to something, but you stayed unwavering. So there's a sense of like this person coming along and being like, wow, the beauty that you're bringing to my life. And she was using her butterfly net to catch the ashes so that she could hold on to something almost like preempting the fact that it was all gonna go to shit that it was always gonna burn to the ground but it didn't happen he stayed unwavering patient through every false goodbye unsubsiding pining for now and for never there you were if only the umbrella of the sky could wrap us up and up that's where i'd zoom in close dilated as your eyes but till then, I keep it brief, faithful inertia, her bullet doesn't slow, it seeks and finds me, how far it goes, heaven help me take this bag of wings and drown it in the Thames, and wake up tomorrow, holly, hardly, hardly forgetting, there you were, there I was with my butterfly net, trying to capture your light. Fuck me. It's beautiful. Like, I, how does she manage to combine, like, all these, like, beautiful sounds and then the poetry of it is so wonderful as well. Like, and this idea of, like, her scared that it's all going to not work out and so she's grasping at straws trying to kind of keep something that she can remember before it's all over. And But she doesn't, it doesn't happen, does it? And, like, I just love the way she sings, there you are, you know. This person is there. This person is unwavering. They proved her wrong and they're still there. She finally believes in herself and believes in what she has with this person, you know? Wonderful. Okay, let's go on to the penultimate song. This is Smoke. That sound is so upsetting. Okay, this seems like more of a bop, doesn't it? Nice. It's just smoke. Mm. Oh! I love how big her songs sound, you know? Ugh, this is so gorgeous. Her vocals. Ugh. It's, just smoke. it's just smoke. Yeah, I just love that it's like, there isn't a fire, it's just smoke. I Don't worry, it's okay. It's just oh, me. Love it. Beautiful. That's giving me a sense of like, don't worry. Even though I seemed to have a freak out, it's just smoke. It's just all bluster. You know, I'm here. You know, um, yeah. Love that song. I just love how huge it felt. You know, it felt like a real big declaration, you know, like powerful moment. Like, especially after the last few songs that have been a little bit more like, like down, you know, a bit more intimate, a bit more quiet. You know, that one really was just like, you know, beautiful. Yeah. Um, let's look at the lyrics. It's just smoke floating over the volcano. It's just smoke, so go on. You know, I can't say no. Selling me out on the down low, it's just smoke, and here you are, the big answer tonight, and here you are, melting everything around me. Oh, don't worry about me, it's just smoke, and the fallout doesn't phase me. Take a bullet for me, for my baby, the one thing that will save me, I know. This is a real passionate, you know, declaration of love. Throw it all out and replace it with a brand new kind of crazy, <laughs> I love that. Don't believe it when you praise me, do I? Mm. And here you are, the big answer tonight, and here you are, melting everything around me. But don't worry, it's just smoke. So there's like a feeling of everything's changing and maybe she's going to act up. Maybe she's going to have moments of like, you know, fearing this change. But she's like, just know that I am there. I'm there with you. You know, trust that. Yeah, gorgeous. 
Love it. Before we go into the final song, if you haven't yet subscribed and you've got this friendly reaction, then what are you doing? You obviously love this. <laughs> so make sure to click the subscribe button um, and if you want to support me even further and watch this video with no cuts you can do so over on Patreon, the link is in the description. Let's go on to the final song, this is Billions. Oh, reversing. Choir. Sexting sonnets. <laughs> I love the reverse drum beat thing. It's very, very cool. Kind of feels like we're reversing out of everything that the kind of negative stuff she's kind of reversing back to simplicity she's unwrapping it you know wow gorgeous I never felt so close to you wow there's an element of like fear in there as well isn't there she's so in love and i love it and obviously she put out on valentine's day <laughs> Pearl of the Oyster. Ah, oh, Sophie reference. Ah, oh, I think that's on purpose. Cool. Oh. Amazing. This is just such a gorgeous, like, declaration of love, isn't it? And she's like, now I've kind of gone through and processed all these things through maybe writing the album. She can say, actually, I feel so close to you, even more than I was before, you know? Oh, gorgeous. And I love that she's almost got like a children's choir, it sounds like, doesn't it? Because it's like an innocence. She's reverting back to that innocence, reclaiming that innocence of love, pure and simple. I love that chorus of just saying, oh, I've never felt so close to you. It's so powerful. Gorgeous. Oh my God. How amazing. Let's just quickly look at the lyrics of that one before I go into my full album chat. Psycho price this good in a crisis. Working the angels. Oh, whoa. Billions. Sexting sonnets under tables. Tangled in cables. Billions. Salted flavour likes like a sailor, but he loves like a painter. Oh, billions. Hand it open, broken, give me the closure, here's the pearl, I'm the oyster. Say something to me. Headless angel, body upgraded, but it's dead on arrival. Strange. Twisted my neck, cornucopia. Yeah, my cup overfloweth, billions. I've never felt so close to you, I've never felt so close to you. And then a lot of I've never felt so close to you. It seems as if she's like wrapping up the kind of drama in a relationship in a thing. It's like boom, 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 you know. Really like appreciating this person for every single thing that they are, you know, even the negative stuff, even the lies, you know, like things like that, you know. Salted flavour lies like a sailor, there's a sense of like, you know, mm, you know, mm. He loves like a painter, there's romance, there's beauty. And she is just saying like, I am unburdened of all of my fears. I am there. I am here for you. I'm not sure what the billions is. Maybe it's like joining the billions of people who are all in love. I don't know. There's, uh, you know, or maybe it's just like the hugeness of it. It's just like, that's what she's trying to represent. Yeah. Oh my God. Of course she put this out about Valentine's Day. It is love, isn't it? Maybe she's welcoming them onto her island and it, there's the fear and the trepidation and the all sorts of things that kind of come into that. You know, she was pretty happy being kind of unknown, being a single entity, having complete freedom. And yet she's now starting to kind of tie herself down. But once she gets over that fear of being tied down, once she gets over the fear of not being good enough, like the relationship just combusting, you know, she finds herself even closer and more in love with that person than she ever was throughout their relationship so far. And it's wonderful. It's so wonderful because she represents all of these different things through like such fascinating, creative, experimental poetry, but also through a real dexterity in sound design. Like she knows, it's really making me, like reminding me of Björk in that sense, 
because she has a vision for how the sound is going to be and what it's going to make the person feel. That's the that's the thing, isn't it? She knows we're in a dreamscape of love. It's going to be like moving. It's going to be sometimes unsettling, sometimes disturbing. But ultimately, she knows that there's a brightness and an optimism to the whole thing. Oh God, it's wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. And I think that like, if I were to compare it to Pang for a second, I think that like Pang was like, had moments of that brilliance. But for me, it just didn't really all come together. Like I really appreciated what she was doing. And I thought it was really fascinating. But like on repeated listens, I don't know, it didn't hook me as much. But this one, it feels like the direction is just so much more focused. It's almost like she came up with the whole concept of the album before she even started writing, you know. And I think that's, for me, is why it all comes together in a way that is much more coherent and cohesive and takes me to that place with no interruption, you know. And I'm so excited to really dig into it and to listen to it loads because it is completely up my street and actually it's kind of representing how I'm feeling as well at the moment. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind me talking about this, but it's really wonderful, like, how I'm seeing all this, like, romance and, like, you know, letting your barriers down to let somebody in and, like, all that kind of thing, you know, and how I'm just thinking, oh my god, this is exactly what I'm going through. And the fact that this album came out on the day, Valentine's Day, obviously, there's something special there for me, you know. <sighs> wonderful. So it's going to be a special album. Yeah, it is already is. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. I, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I've loved filming this one. This has been such an amazing listen. I'm just so moved and so inspired as well, like as a creator, like she's fabulous. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Before we sign off, a shout out to all my patrons. These guys support me over on Patreon. Um, they got a bunch of different perks, including getting their name in the video, uh, including getting to watch my videos unedited. You can see like the full length of it, each song and everything. A bunch of them also get to request stuff from me too. So if that sounds interesting to you, the link is on the screen. Yeah, thank you for so much for all your support on Patreon. It's really making a big difference. It's uh, stability. Um, so thank you so much. Um, cool. I will see you soon for another video. Bye.